Hi there, this is Alan Fine from the LinkedIn Business Report. You know, welcome Mike Kellett to the uh, show. Hey Mike, how's it going? Where are you calling from? You're all the way out in the UK, right? Yes, we're in the north of England in a small town on the river called Saltaire. Wow. We run our technology company from here. That's great. Isn't it amazing that you can run a technology company from basically anywhere in the world now? Just with, with, with yeah. the right technology. Yes, absolutely. You can live where you want to live in a, in a nice place. <laughs> exactly. You can live where you want to live in a nice place. And that was, I mean, let's say, face it, you know, you couldn't do that maybe even 15 years ago. You had to be absolutely. in a big yeah. city with the proper infrastructure for the internet and everything else. Yes, and, that, and that's really the, the history be, behind my activity for the last... Um, 20 years because it seemed to be to be a very unfair world where people in a developing country could not perform or contact the rest of the world because of the high cost of communication and obviously since the advent of the internet it, the situation hasn't improved and right. you know, a large part of the world is without access to high speed internet as you know. Right. Absolutely. And that, uh, you know, definitely makes a huge, huge difference on what you can do and where you can do it. Correct. Um, and if you're trying to do your business over LinkedIn, obviously you're dependent on having good access to the internet. Uh, and if, you, if you're trying to do a, a Zoom call like we're doing at the moment, you need um, a high bandwidth. And that... Um, is not available to, to many uh, business users in uh, developing countries. Exactly. So we, we, we would like to see that change for the better, which is why uh, Romobi was created. Yes, tell, tell us so the company name is Romobi? Romobi Technology. How do you spell um, that? R-O-A-M, like Rome, when you're traveling, and O-B-I, so that's right. Romobi. And the website uh, address is? Romobi.com. Okay, perfect. Well, tell us, tell us about your company. How did you start it? Why did you start it? Well, I was working in Africa at the time, um, and I realized how disadvantaged uh, businesses were um, in developing parts of the world. Uh, I was in sub-Saharan Africa, and it was very, very expensive uh, for people. Many businesses would spend at that time as much as $1,000 a month in communication costs. Wow. I think the cheapest internet uh, connection w would cost you several hundred dollars a month at that time. Well, that's and probably that for like dial up. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, exactly. So that, that seemed very unfair. And I yeah. realized that the, the world was really protected in a semi monopoly controlled by the large mobile operators, particularly. Right. Um, and, I, and I saw the use of technology could change that. And we, and we developed a technology that, that could be put inside a SIM card. So originally we were, we were doing this type of product, which is found in the millions today. Our technology has been used around the world to wow. create a way of bypassing the expensive uh, operated charges when you are at right. home or when, or when you're traveling. So this is for the internet or for telephone or for both? It started with voice. Uh, and text uh, and obviously in recent years the big requirement for people that travel is high-speed internet um, and, and obviously you want a low cost and ideally you want to have a cost which is near to what you have at home and also you want high speed and neither right. of those things are readily available so usually companies like T-Mobile in the US they promise that you would get an inclusive unlimited access to the internet but they were only giving you very low gprs speeds so in the past people would turn off the phone when they tried right right and that that bit that became known as a silent roamer because right people would just switch off the phone but you can't do that anymore today can you no you, you need you need to have access to your social media you need to maintain your facebook presence and so your business would collapse, wouldn't it, if you, if you just disappeared from the face of the earth? 
Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I know I'm, I'm, I'm always looking for that Wi-Fi signal when uh, I travel uh, and uh, go on vacation. It's yeah. quite, quite the problem sometimes. And then if you try to hook, hooking up to your, your data on your phone through a hotspot and they go over, wow, the bill could yeah. be horrendous. Yeah. So, my, you know, my big tip for anyone that runs a business and that wants to travel is you need to do a lot of uh, investigatory work before you leave. Right. And, and, and find out how does your own operator provide a service for you. Some people right. think that they automatically have got international roaming and they haven't. You have to have that. No. <laughs> uh, which is one of the big, big problems mistake. for inexperienced travelers. And then they may offer you a package and you may think that's very expensive though. You, you think it's unlimited, but uh, it maybe is only a couple of hundred megabytes, you see, and you're yeah. happily using a few gigabytes until you get home and then you get something called get that five hundred dollar extra bill. <laughs> yeah, bill shock, bill shock. Yeah. You know, excuse me, I'm gonna drop my headset there. No problem, it's that's called fine. called bill shock. Yeah. Um, and most people only experience that once because then they switch, <laughs> yeah, the, phone, yeah. they switch the phone off. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And you and can't depend on the hotel, can you? Because the hotel systems are often overcrowded. Yeah. Because every, everybody is watching movies. Yeah. So you can't. You can no longer depend on getting good Wi-Fi in many right. hotels. So you need to think in advance. Do you buy a local SIM card? Um, and that was an option at one time, and now it's more complicated because of security issues, you've got to go through many security hoops in a foreign country to get a SIM card. I right. mean, sometimes they won't give you a, a data subscription. You only get voice and text. On it. Right. So it's very, very, very complex and it's like a minefield. Um, and that's where Romo becomes in, in that we try and give people personal, customized advice um, and, and you know, tailor make solutions for for the end user. That's the yeah. The so explain explain to me how your service works then. Yeah, I, I know you held up the little card beforehand. How is that? Yeah, so go, it's, show it's us started, the audience again. It, it started with a, a SIM card. Right. Uh, the problem with that is that you have to keep uh, switching SIM cards or getting right. a second phone. So right. we've moved on to putting everything in the cloud, and now we have a device like this. Okay. Which um, basically allows us to send everything from the cloud to the right. device. So you, so you can buy a package. Right. And it's just, and that will cover you for 30 days. You can buy a couple of gigabytes. Right. And you don't need to waste it. You know, you don't, you're not committed to using so much a day. Right. So if, if you only need it for 10 minutes today, you only use a little bit of your data and it's still there for 30 days. So it's, right. it's really economic. The biggest plus is it's just one button. Right. You switch it on. And so is that a phone, devices, actually? What is that? It, it looks like the size of an iPhone 4. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we, we, call it it? A personal, we call it a personal communication exchange. Right. So it, enab it enables us to take everything from the cloud, yeah. like your data packages, and deliver them when you <clears> arrive. So you don't need to buy any SIM cards. You don't have any physical SIM cards. And right. all your devices, up to 10 people or to 10 devices, can connect by simple Wi-Fi to the device. It's very, very oh. easy. Just cool. on, off, on, off. <laughs> right. So let's say, let's say I'm just one person, though. I don't have 10 people. Would I get that same device then still, or is there something different? No, no, you, you would. You would uh, actually, most people nowadays have more than one device. Right. Um, because there are your watch, you might, you might have a watch. Right, my iPad, and my and phone. A, I, exactly. So, yeah. so it's not unusual for, for most people to travel with actually three pieces of equipment right. that can connect to that box. Right. Uh, and you, and you, it's got a clip on it. You clip it to your belt and you right. can basically carry it. You can also put it in your hotel window to right. get the best connectivity, get the best signal strength. And it right. creates um, a portable hotspot inside your room. Oh, you can move very cool. So very it, cool. It really solves all the problems. Um, and uh, obviously, there's competition in the market. Um, right. But we, we've just been doing it for many years. Um, right. And we have a, a lot more different things that we can do, one of which is managing your, num your telephone numbers also in the cloud. So right. you're based. You're, you're based in Alberta. Is that I'm in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, 
you know, you're based there, but you may do some business in New York. So you may want a New York number. You may want a London number. You may want a number in Frankfurt, Berlin, um, Madrid. And you could, with our solution, you can put all those numbers in the cloud and then right. those numbers can connect via this device without having any roaming issues. Amazing. So what does that device go for on average? What's the starting price? Uh, they're quite expensive. I would put it in the range. You probably would pay about the same as a mid-range smartphone. Right. So you're probably under three hundred dollars, which is what you would pay for a mid-range smartphone. Right. But it's just a one-off purchase. You right. Could probably you could probably lease it or rent it if if you're not travelling every month. So you don't sell those yourself. You, just, you don't we, sell we, those we devices. Have, we actually don't go to market ourselves in the Romobi brand. Right. license partners to go to right. market in their own brand so you can actually right. become like like a virtual mobile operator oh we okay call it a, we call it a vmsp right it's a low cost um mbno right and then you can you can go to market in your existing brand so for example it could be a hotel it could be a, a car rental company or you could just be a private uh, entrepreneur that Oh. I like to move into the mobile industry and everything is delivered in, in a box you could say ready to go you don't need any technical expertise. so you rent that with a car then probably right exactly we, we, we're going to do a, a, a like a cradle in the glove box right. of a rental car so you open the glove box take it out and you go to you just download the app add some gigabyte and you're up and running and you don't you're not stuck to the car unlike Sweet. car systems you can take it with you then out of the car you can right 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 something that limits you to connecting in the car <laughs> right for example so you can get it as a rental probably with a car so that would be great um correct as as a as you know this is called the linkedin business report and so yes. you're on linkedin that's how we met tell me about yes. your experience of, of connecting with people for business on linkedin it's so it's there's nothing in my opinion linkedin is the number one there's nothing to compare with linkedin um, and you can make connection, you know, to a person that you have no other connections to apart from you've maybe uh, met one of their friends <laughs> online and, uh, you, you know, like a second level connection. You may right. pick up somebody's business card and, and you can get recommendations to, uh, to other people. And you can um, really get people who are not just socializing. <laughs> yeah, really like Facebook, yeah. Business. Exactly. Yeah. You look, yeah. It's a much... It's a much higher caliber of connection, you could say, than you would get on Facebook. For me, because I'm in a kind of a niche business, um, there are a lot of people that have problems roaming. Right. Um, and and we, 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 you know, we're there to solve problems. And we're also looking for business partners who would like to leverage their connections to others. Right. So LinkedIn is undoubtedly the, the, the best uh, available method of um, interacting, you could say. Uh, collaboration is the key, isn't it? Collaboration. Collaboration, yeah. joint venturing, connecting with people, Correct. getting to know people. And, and also, Correct. you know, I've noticed myself that uh, finding people that you never knew existed. That's probably Absolutely. one of the biggest secrets is getting in Absolutely. touch with people and you never know they were even, even there beforehand. You'd have no, even if you look at the phone book, you could do anything you wanted to. You would never yeah. know they were in the world out there to be your partner or collaborate with you yeah. because yeah. of, uh, you know, LinkedIn. You, and you, it you, opens up the world, doesn't it? It, it yeah. actually opens up the world to you. You know, you may have a small company in the north of England. Yeah. Um, and, and you suddenly, you're open to people of like mind. Um, yeah, in, exactly. You know, you know two, 200 plus countries, aren't you? It's just yeah. It's incredible. If you leave, but you can't just sit there, can you? You've got to. You've got to be proactive, haven't you? Many people exactly. Say, well, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything for me, but they don't do anything for it. <laughs> exactly. So, exactly. So you have to. You so, have to put something in, don't you, to get something out? Exactly. So tell people, you know, uh, as far as what you do, what is the biggest tip or trick you can tell them that will save them money? Do your, do your homework before you travel. Right. You don't wait until you're on the plane. To, to, to identify how you're going to connect because your business will suffer yeah. if you don't make advanced connections and advanced preparation for how you're going to connect when you're traveling. Perfect. That's the biggest tip of all. 
Thank you so much. Well, I want to thank you so much for uh, joining us today. Once again, this is Mike Kellett, and Romobi is the name of the website, romobi.com, and you can find Mike on LinkedIn. I'll put his information up on the uh, screen for uh, people who want to connect with him. Thank you so much, Mike, for joining us today, and have a great day. Yeah, same to you. Great Thank day you. to all your audience. Thank you.